Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Bailey's in Wild. It's episode 9 of our boat restoration series. Um, yeah, last episode took a lot out of us so we've spent the majority of this past week and a half recuperating from that. Um, so we are in a bit of a time crunch to get things done today. It's just the way it is, unfortunately. It's how it has to be. So today's going to be quite busy. There's a lot... <laughs> there. are <laughs> They're sorting out sea defences. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of that <laughs> scattered throughout this episode. I apologise. It sounds honestly like something out of War of the Worlds. It's horrifying. <laughs> this is episode three of our quest to seal the deck. Um, the jobs that we've got to do today are many and I would like to talk about as many of them as I can possibly can before we have to get on with it. One of the first things that we're probably going to do... Uh, in no specific order, by the way, I'm just going to re reel them off. Um, we've, now that the tow rail is done, we want to get the netting done for the guardrails, which is what this twine is for. And we've got the netting in this bag here somewhere. Um, this was the cleat off the front. It... <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> you can't say that's not terrifying. <laughs> Anytime. It's getting louder. <laughs> Thank you. This was the cleat off the front of the boat. Um, this is the replacement one that we're going to put on the front. We're just going to put the same bolts in it. That's not going to be an issue. We've got sealant with us. That's going to be done. Um, this was the old anode that is on the bottom. Um, and this is the one. Bloody hell, the Revy. This is the one that we're going to be replacing it with. Um, it was 45 quid, which we weren't expecting, <laughs> but the very lovely lady at the chandlery said that it would be perfectly fine for us to put it on the boat now, um, and it will only start reacting when we put it in the water, so we're going to do that, we're going to get that done today as well. Um, another thing we want to do is the door. We aren't doing the door here, we aren't doing the door in this episode, maybe we might if we fit it in, but I doubt it. What we are going to do, however, is we're going to map it out. We need a proper measurement of, yeah, template. We need a proper template um, to work with because honestly, doing the door here is kind of scary. Me and my mum, we are engineers, but we are not engineers who work with wood. So it's kind of horrifying. So we're going to make a template out of this very flimsy balsa wood and some uh, staples <laughs> and we're going to hope that that lasts the trip home and we're going to do the actual door at home we will obviously film it but it's going to get done at home so that's something we need to do yes um i grab a bag of stuff um yeah that needs putting in we need to yeah this is depth finder i think no, it's logged. Um, there is a depth finder on the boat. We need to take that off. Um, and this obviously needs to be put next to it. Um, there is already, I think, a, a mount for it there, isn't there? That needs taking off and sorting out. So that's what we're doing as well. Um, netting. We've got... <laughs> I feel like Mary Poppins. Um... We've got this, I'm going to see if this will clean up. Um, that obviously needs to go back in the cockpit and cleaner than this, hopefully. We've also got a bunch of camera mounts because after Firefly is fixed and seaworthy, we are going to be sailing her. And so these scattered around the boat are going to be perfect for capturing us sailing her or crashing her, depending on how that goes. Um, we've also got cam cleats as well. Um, we want to put these on because um, the only thing that's on there at the moment is cleats. We need these. So that's also getting done today. Um, and then there's other things that need sorting as well that I don't think we'll be able to get done today, but I need to talk about. Um, there's the hatch seal. That needs definitely sorting. I think I've spoken about that in other episodes though. Um, there is Something we also were planning to do as well is the navigation and aerial wire that's coming through the deck in front of the mast. We were going to patch those up 
and put fit a grommet. Um, none. Uh, none. I'm just going to keep talking. None of the grommets we have at the moment will fit in the space that we want them to. And we also realised that we are going to need a proper connector. Oh my gosh. So, if the mast ever needs to be taken down, having just grommets, having wires just through grommets through the deck is not going to be practical in getting them off. So we need a proper connector to be able to do that. We will find other uses for the grommets that we have though. Um, and, and something that we did that we can stop getting told off for <laughs> is that we took the sail off. <laughs> we took the sail off um, and we inspected her. It, it doesn't look like it's particularly badly damaged, to be honest. I didn't find any nasty holes or, or horrible aging. It just needs a bit of a clean, to be honest. So we did that. Um, something else we wanted to do as well is measure the boom for a sail cover and measure an area for dodgers. I want to clarify something by the way because we figured we very very steep learning curve but we figured out that British word for dodgers is not the American word for dodgers. In America um, dodgers is used to describe what we would call the spray hood. <laughs> it's not what we mean. We mean two pieces of cloth down either side of the boat that will have Firefly written on them. So we want to measure for those and the sail cover as well. That might be further down the line before we can get our hands on them, but we do want to measure for them anyway. So that's what we're on with. That's what we're doing. I just essentially need to get on with it now. <laughs> so yeah, okay. <laughs> This is going to be a nightmare to film with that going on. <laughs> okay. Ready when you... Wait, yeah. Of course, sorry. All right. So need, it's a bit cold now, so... I need to get this done. plate basically is acting as a massive washer so that also needs to be sealed up just even if it's just over our own peace of mind to be honest. Now, so hopefully, see. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Right. These. Let's here now. These. Where are you? There you are. Screw these out of the deck. And then in you go. Is it in now? Yes. 
fast. Okay, cool. Robert, this is gonna be such a mess. Yeah. Yeah, those need sorting out. I'll sort that out now. But I'm trying to get this. Tighten up in a minute. I'll wipe that in a minute. Sealant gets everywhere. All it's jobs like these where you need four hands. Or well, the very minimum three. And that's it. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, cool. I suppose the bonus point is part of sealant is that it tends to be quite sticky. wipe anything on my trousers because I need these ones clean. Okay. Spanner on here. Those on the bottom of the bolts. Can't see anything so I'm just having to feel around at the moment. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Right, now I can tighten them up. I've got a spanner on the bolt underneath and then I want to stay. Yep, there we go. So we've just tried to put the anode on only to find that these bolts are both spinning so we're going to have to take them out and glue them essentially back in. They were tightening up a second ago but we can't guarantee now that they now that we know they're loose we can't guarantee that we're not going to get water in so we're just going to have to try and find a way to it. I'm not entirely sure where it might be in the we might, yeah, I might know where it is, but we are going to have to find a way to take them out and glue them in because otherwise I really would rather not have to worry about a sinking boat. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. On to the next project. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we got the cleat done. Um, we are running out of daylight. We started a bit late today, unfortunately, but cleat's done and door template is done. This is a template. I know earlier on I said that we were bad at woodwork, but we're not this bad. <laughs> the idea of this is to get the rough shape of the outside. Um, I suppose, for lack of a better phrase, the limit of where the door is. Um, so that we can take it home and work on the door there. Um, yeah. <laughs> the door that we've been using is right behind me and I'm quite looking forward to putting it up against and see where the errors are, to be honest, because I'm quite certain that this door that here is around this side here. It's too thin. So there's that. As for the anode as well, I wanted to mention we are going to have to come back and do that hopefully tomorrow. Um, I found where the threads were in the engine bay. Um, behind the engine, quite far back behind the engine, so I would have had to clamber over and to sort that out. Um, they weren't sealed properly, that's something I noticed. I have mentioned in the past that the engine bay is completely sodden. like wet and grimy to the touch sodden so the fact that they weren't sealed properly and the very leaky and exposed door not <laughs> directly above the engine bay that makes sense as to why the engine bay is just wet um something else i mentioned that we wanted to get done today is to put the nasa log there as well um we we tried but there's a board in the way behind, in front of the screws and a bunch of fiberglass so that's going to have to be a job we tackle some other time it's going to be an entire independent job that we sort out so that can't get done like we hoped but we do have a template of the door now which we were terrified about <laughs> the plan for the door is to obviously get the door done um, and then we're continuing on with our monochromeness um, all of this wooden bit is getting black. These pieces of wood will have to get replaced as well because this isn't oops, this isn't high enough. And we reckon that's another reason why one of the um, why it's leaking. Um, there's also supposed to be a cover here um, on both sides. There's supposed to be a cover here, which we will probably just make out of wood at some point. Um, and then obviously this um, winch holder here will need to get cleaned. I can probably do that tonight when I get home set camera up and film me just scrubbing it i can do that um either that or it'll be a tomorrow thing either way that's going back there um and yeah that's a big job of the once the door's done at least <laughs> a big job of the deck done oh god it's cold it's nippy now we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Okay, we came back the second day to continue working on the boat with the list that I've talked about previously. And we've been hit by Storm Agnes. We've been acutely aware of it, but we honestly thought that it was just gonna breeze past us like most storms do. However, it hasn't. It, like, 40, 50, nearly 60 miles an hour winds, lots and lots and lots of rain, and 
it's cold. <laughs> I mean, we were obviously fully aware, because we've been whinging about it for the past several episodes, about once autumn and winter hits, the doing the outside of the boat is going to become harder, which is why we desperately need her sealed. We do still have a plan though. Um, it's not all lost. We are going to try and turn our attention to getting the door finished. Yeah, we've got the template for the door now, so hopefully we can just build it at home. Something else I wanted to mention as well before we move on is I want to say thank you to a couple of people. Firstly, I want to say thank you to David who bought us some coffees. Um, thank you very much it was completely out of the blue <laughs> again we never expect it but thank you very much to david for that and thank you to alan who bought us something from our amazon wish list again came to us as a complete shock um they are these in the cabin we want a bunch of these lights i don't know if we've decided whether they're going along the floor for floor lighting when everybody's sleeping and then kind of atmosphere or if they are going to be used in the roof but we have them and it's incredible and they're amazing they are so beautiful <laughs> they're really pretty look at those there's hang on how many one two three four route bow out six they are absolutely stunning and again came as a complete shock <laughs> obviously doing the boat is it costs money and any help that we can possibly receive from you guys is greatly appreciated. So appreciated. The link for the Amazon wish list, um, which we are also kind of using as just a guide of what we need to buy for ourselves, um, and link and <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Sorry. The link for the Amazon wish list that we are also using is down in the description. And the link for coffees is also down in the description if you'd like to help. No pressure, obviously, we don't expect it from anybody. Um, a way that you can help if you can't do either of those things is to just subscribe. That helps massively. Like the video, subscribe, and leave us a comment because we like interacting with you guys. But yes, I'm gonna try and measure the boom and the dodges now while we're here. It's a bit windy, so I'm a little nervous about it, but Hopefully I can do it without falling off the boat. <laughs> You'll find out in a minute, I suppose. Okay, so I didn't end up actually getting onto the boat to measure the boom and the area for the dodges because it got way too windy way too quickly. And in all honesty, I got scared. It was way too dangerous to even attempt. So instead of doing that, we just went home and attempted to create the door we are not good at woodwork. We've mentioned this hundreds of times before now, but honestly, we really aren't. So please be kind in the comments for what you're about to witness. We tried, okay? <laughs> in all honesty, actually, it doesn't look that bad considering that anything would look better than the door we have currently. So just keep that in mind and please be kind in the comments, please. Laying the template on top of the door actually afterwards was quite therapeutic because it was perfect it lined up identically and as far as we're aware the template that we created fit perfectly into the whole of the door that we measured so we can't really test if that is correct until we can go down and measure it and try it actually in the boat so fingers crossed that will work and it will slot down perfectly and it'll just be brilliant but we can't test that until we go down to the boat next episode something i wanted to make sure i mentioned as well is that with the episodes that we're creating it's becoming incredibly clear to us that we're struggling with the perfectionist side of things when we set out to create an episode we sit down and we talk about the jobs that we want to do and most importantly complete in that episode the key word there is complete it's becoming incredibly clear as time goes on and as jobs get bigger that obviously 
jobs aren't going to be completed in every episode. Sometimes it's going to have to wait until next episode for us to finish them. But the way that we've typically been approaching episodes and jobs in particular is they have to be completed and they have to be completed perfectly in the episode. If they get completed incorrectly or it's a bit of a bodge job or we're not happy with it or it didn't go as exactly as we planned we get incredibly disheartened with it and it's it's an odd thing to have to realize because obviously we know sometimes things aren't going to go the way you planned them to go that's obvious the point is that it's important for us to realize that not everything has to be perfect when we put it in the videos. It's okay for us to not finish a job and it's okay for us to come back to it next episode. It's just an important thought that we had that we wanted to share. Particularly when doing this episode, it was important to us. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo, give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. Rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say that I love you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just before the video ends, we wanted to show some work we did. We helped a friend uh, about a week ago on his boat. It's a little Alacrity 19, it's called New Freedom. You might have seen her in um, previous videos alongside Firefly when before Firefly was moved. 
Um, he's rebuilding her alongside ours. Um, like I said, it's a sweet little boat. We helped him um, mount an onboard engine on the back. We've helped previously with anti-fouling and painting and such. Um, but she's a sweet little boat and we're enjoying building her alongside um, Firefly as a little side project to help him with. Um, so the jobs that we helped him with were the holes for his um, deck hardware that had been taken off had been filled previously so they, they got sanded back um, and then we drilled fresh holes and then his deck got painted grey after masking off everything obviously um, and then all of his deck hardware got um, sealed properly and put back on onto his deck. It was very clean and very beautiful, it was really amazing. And then afterwards we helped with, like I said previously, we helped with putting an engine mount on the back. Um, we had to drill, not drill, we had to cut a piece of wood to go on the back to brace it properly because the back of his boat is uh, fiberglass is quite thin um, and that was that it looked incredible afterwards it's a beautiful little boat hopefully next year you'll be able to see new freedom sailing alongside firefly which would be great to see to be honest So that's it for this episode, thank you very much for watching, please make sure you like, subscribe, press the little bell so you're notified of every upload because we are on a two week schedule and leave a little comment because we genuinely do love replying and engaging with you guys, it's, it's genuinely incredible. Um, a big thank you again to David who sent us the coffees, Alan who sent us the Amazon wishlist gifts and to the people who have interacted with us via our website that was out of the blue as well thank you very very much um and yeah thank you for watching um the next episode should be fairly straightforward we just need to make sure that the door will actually work um it should be if it does work it should be a simple case of just painting it sealing it not in that order but you get my point thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next episode bye